hey guys how are you all doing it's agara cindy and i'm back again today with another cheese i trust you guys are doing great i trust you guys are having a beautiful time out there today thank you so much for clicking to watch this video so i just want us to have a look at this video today this woman right here as you can see she looks white but she says she is not white she is creole from louisiana but she identifies as black so in this video you can see that she is crying literally expressing herself because some people um came in her comment section you know dropping some kind of words which she didn't like so she decided to you know make this video to express herself you know i'm gonna show you a couple of her videos where she showed you know her family members and then she says that people sees her as white she is not white and in the eyes of white people she is black now a lot of people reacted to this video which i'm gonna show you like i kind of find this very interesting because it is kind of um a history lesson for me personally you know i'm gonna learn one or two because some people were like creole and uh are they not biracial like you know people are kind of confused so i would love to know your your take in the comments you know what you think i mean about creole are they black are they white are they white person you know let's just make it a conversation but let's have a look at this video right here y'all i said i wasn't gonna cry but listen i'm at work and I seen a bunch of videos people did on my behalf and I want to thank y'all not just y'all but all of my supporters that's why I'm in tears because as much as people can hate on me they got a lot of people out there that really love me that really fuck with me I was here trying to make a video of my lunch today and I just I don't even know if I can finish making it because I'm sick to my stomach I don't even want to eat I'm tired of getting a fucking attack and having to fit myself I'm tired. I never said I was 100% black. I told y'all what I was mixed with. I'm multi-ethnic and stop saying I'm biracial. I am not biracial. Both of my parents are I like black Creoles. They're not. I don't have a white parent and a black parent or a Chinese parent and another. I'm not biracial. I'm multi-ethnic. I was raised to be black. I was raised as a black woman. So I don't care what y'all say. It don't matter. I know who I am. Y'all can't come on here and tell me. And I don't give a fuck what you think. If I tell you what I'm telling you, that's because I've i been living me for 45 years. How dare y'all come around here fucking with me? I don't fuck with nobody like that. I'm a good kind of other person, but y'all won't even fucking think. Y'all just want to shoot jabbing at me, talking about what y'all think, what y'all think, what y'all think. It don't matter what you think. It is what it is. How about that? But... I ain't even gonna focus on y'all negative ass motherfuckers. I'm about to start blocking people. But to y'all that rock with me and that love me, I love y'all to death. Y'all are like family to me. And I'll be a ride or die friend for y'all. Obviously, her video went viral because I saw a couple of stitches, people, you know, trying to, you know, um, people giving their opinion, basically, which I have put those stitches together. Let's just hear from them. And of course, I'm going to show you another video of hers where she showed her family um, members. Please check these videos out. I refuse to let the Internet gaslight me into saying that woman is black. I don't care if she's from Louisiana. I don't care if she was straight from the motherland itself phenotypically she is a white woman and i'm already prepared for people to say i don't know anything about louisiana i don't know anything about being creole i don't know anything about being cajun all of that may be true but what i do know is that a large part of race is how you are perceived if your entire life you are perceived as white regardless of your ethnicity then you navigate the world as a white person you reap the benefits of being a white person people see you as white people treat you as white I'm not arguing whether or not she has black ancestry at all. I'm just saying that visibly she is not black. If we never heard her accent and you placed her anywhere else, people would see her as white. We directly contribute to the erasure of black people when we consider people like that black. Y'all, I said I wasn't gonna cry, but listen, I'm at work. Hey, y'all. For those of you who don't know me, I'm John. 
I'm what you call incognito. I'm what you call a Negro day walker. Okay? I got one black parent. Now, because I have one black parent, whether it be my mother or my father, it's not important in this moment, there will be people who will tell you that I'm black. There will be people who will tell you I'm white. There will be people who will tell you that I'm biracial. There will be people who will tell you some other dumb shit. There is identity and description, right? Identity is how I see myself roaming through the world. And description is how those outside of me see me and my place in the world now though i identify as black there are many people that would ascribe white to me and that's their choice that's how they see me it's not up for debate but what you're not going to do is come to my page and tell me who i am and you need to stop going to her page and telling her who she is some of you bookless individuals got a lot of nerve trying to intellectualize someone else's existence have a seat. Okay, in regards to the white Creole woman. So I looked up what Creole is. Because look, I never cared. Because it was just something that confused me. Because some of them do look white. Now, I have never seen any Creole people that are like my color and darker. So I don't know if they come in that color. But when I looked up what Creole was, it doesn't say that it is specific to white or black. But more so where they're from. Colonial French mixedness european black african-american slaves stuff like that so with that being said i'm assuming that creole people are mixed boom let's start there but then they start mixing up with procreation and they become octoroons then you have a white lady on here crying because she feels like she's black because like when it comes to dialect she's from the south she's creole lineage she probably thinks she's black, but it's all like, wow, you're a white Creole. So now it makes me wonder, do the Creoles have like black Creoles and white Creoles and mixed Creoles? But they're all mixed. Like, this is a crazy conversation to have, and I've never cared until I've really seen that lady crying. Because it's just like, you're white. And she's not even like a toasted yellow type white. Like, like she's far beyond high yellow. She's white passing. Hi. So i just seen this video with the white louisiana creole woman right and i just want to tell people um y'all need to stay out louisiana business for real stay out our business we literally have our own way of identifying each other right and the way louisiana people identify with each other you need to respect that. This is why I say Louisiana Creoles, we need to consider ourselves our own ethnicity and really get that solidified politically. Because culturally, I currently live in New York City. And we 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 got our own little thing going on in Louisiana. That woman is a black woman. You understand? Because if she's not black, that means a lot of us ain't black. That means I ain't black. So, come on. Y'all... I said I wouldn't go cry, but listen, I'm at work. Yap session in cover. So when you look at that woman, right? The woman crying in the video I just said, what is, what is her race? I want you to sit there and think about it for a second. What is her race? Now, I'm sure if you sat and thought about it, you would be surprised if I told you that that woman says that she is a black woman. I know. I was surprised. And for right now, I'm not going to get into whether or not this woman is a black woman or a white woman, or maybe she's Hispanic. Who fucking knows? But what I want to to point out is just how flawed the 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 concept of race actually is. When we think about the definition of race, race is literally a man-made concept that puts people in groups, in sections, solely based off of, and I mean solely based off of the color of their skin. That's the only criteria. So a person who like looks like me, you know, brown skin, you know, literally that's it, that I would be considered black, which I am black. Obviously there's a lot of other features and all that that go into whether or not someone is black or white or whatever, but you know, like for instance, hair, maybe facial structure a little bit, but aside from that, like, it's literally just based on the color of your skin. 
Now, at least for the United States, this system was relatively flawed because they used it to uh, to uphold slavery, essentially. So I feel like a good criteria for whether or not someone should be black, according to the system that has been put in place in the United States and by effect, like the entire broader society, like the world and all that shit, is like, if you went back into the 1800s and were captured on a on a on a ship right let's say you were brought over to to the united states on first glance would someone assume you are a slave yes or no because if the answer is no then i got news for you man you're probably not black and i know there have been a lot of people in history that have that are black and have gone for white passing but just strictly based on the system that we have put in place, if you don't look like you're black, you probably are not black. And that's just how flawed all of this whole system has got. We have, for in terms of race, and in today's society, we have put so many other factors, so many other criteria. We've attached so much other stuff to the to the the definition of race that we don't even know what it is anymore honestly nowadays what goes into wh whether or not you are an, a certain race is your not only your skin color but also physical features also heritage also where you come from all of this stuff has been put into the definition of race that the minute that something is a little bit different or has been tweaked a little bit, it throws the whole thing. Now that woman, I that woman could very well be a black woman. Her dad might be a dark skinned man and her mom might be a white woman or both of her parents might be, might be uh, black. And then she just, you know, came out that way because that has happened before in, in his. But the argument that I want to make is that the whole concept of race is just overall flawed in in our modern society. And like, the sooner that we realize that, the sooner that we can stop having these culture debates on like, oh, whether someone is white or black or blah, 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 all that. Personally, me, in my perfect society, while race might have, a, a, you know, an effect on like who you are, what makes you, you as a person, um, in my perfect society, we would not focus on the color of people's skin, but more so the culture that they came from. For instance, uh, I might, I'm African American. I was born here in the United States, but I grew up in a Jamaican household. You wouldn't be able to tell cause I don't speak Patois, but you know, that's the side. But yeah, um, that's really it. I, I just wish people would focus more on the culture and where people come from, all that stuff. Um, and just like a final note, uh, I don't really think that woman is black. If you've seen like some of the other TikToks of like, you know, what her alleged dad looks like, it's like, mm. but then again, that is that's just a whole like, this just kind of like proving my own point, you know, it's a little. Okay, anyways, um, can we stop having these like race culture wars? This keeps happening like every year. And it keeps happening and it keeps like increasing around like election time and it just kind of like tears the black community apart, at least on social media. And it's kind of fucking annoying to see it. And it's kind of also annoying that like the black community keeps falling for it like every single time. It's very annoying. So can we just like stop focusing on it? Okay, thanks. That would be that would be awesome. All right. I, I never said I was 100% black. I told y'all what I was mixed with. I'm multi-ethnic. And wow. It's been a little minute, you know, but this one right here, it hit close to home. So we're going to talk about this. So when it comes to Louisiana Creoles, it's just like they said in Django. You can't compare us to the other Negroes in this country because we ain't like the other Negroes in this country. We are an extremely multi-ethnic population and the rules of race can get a little murky when it comes to us sometimes. Now, what everybody got to realize is race was created before DNA was ever even discovered. And we haven't revisited what constitutes somebody being a specific race after the discovery of DNA. So at the end of the day, we haven't come to a general consensus on what makes somebody black, what makes somebody white, what makes somebody Native American, et cetera, et cetera. Now, personally, 
if at least 51 percent or the majority of your dna is african i consider you black other people may feel different they might have a different cutoff but like i said we haven't come to a consensus on what constitutes somebody qualifying as black but down here in louisiana you have mulattoes quadroons octoroons hexadecaroons and they all was considered black although down here many of them was able to pass for white we call that poisson blanc i can't say whether or not the woman that i stitched is black or not i haven't seen her dna ancestry so i can't really jump to that conclusion but what i can say is that we can't say that she's not black simply off of her phenotype because i got plenty of cousins who look just like her and they are black people coming from two black parents blonde hair blue eyes all that genetics works really really weird the thing is all this verbiage is used so loosely biracial mixed creole cajun it's all just thrown around and people don't know what any of these individual terms truly mean in the first place i made a video about this before and i even posted the pictures but both of my parents are black all four of my grandparents are black all eight of my great grandparents are black but look at me dog look at the shade i am genetics work how they work louisiana is also one of the only places in this entire country where black people have a significant amount of native american dna my people's last name is Jupiter, and we trace back to the Chittimacca tribe of southern Louisiana. And no, I ain't on no pretending shit. I'm African and a motherfucker. I'm not saying that I'm indigenous, but yeah, we do have Native American ancestry, which is something that's unique to black people, especially in the United States of America, based on DNA evidence. So I feel really bad for that woman because A, we never came to a consensus on what the rules of race constitute, and B, she come from Louisiana, dog, and this is a very unique place. We have a very unique look to the people down here. And people from outside of here really don't understand that. They don't understand that you could have a woman that looks like her and that be a black woman. But, you know, it is what it is. Shout out to that woman, though. I'm supporting you. I'm fucking with you. You know, keep doing you. You know. I said I wasn't going to cry, but listen, I'm at work. Hey Dana, I said I wasn't going to make a video from their stuff, but I never said I wasn't going to make a video from your stuff. So here goes. Stop crying. Block them. They can go straight to hell. I don't care. Okay? Now. I read those comments. Oh, Cajun and Creole's a seasoning. You're a white woman. Your point? You don't pay my bills. You're not effing me. And you sure as hell ain't feeding me. Okay? That's to your haters. Now to you. Okay? I seen people in the comments talking about and especially that one lady that said her followers are delusional. Well, if the hat fits, I'm going to wear it. I'm fucking delusional. I am delusional for believing a woman of who she is, of who her mother and father are, who to me, I'll call her mom and pop. I will wear my delusional hat for the rest of my life. And for y'all digging up her mother's birth certificate in a video from over almost almost three years ago, I was in that live. I remember it. That that's that's delusional. So go about your business, Dana. Don't worry about them. I wear my delusional hat to the wheel fall off. Okay. So with that, you have a good day now. So here is a video where she showed her family members because people were bashing her in the comment and a lot of videos that she have seen so far are people, you know, making about her, literally telling her that she is not black. Please check this video out. I understand. <laughs> Let me show you this. This is me and my dad. Creole. Now, this is my dad's brother, Creole. Same parents, my mama and my papa. And this is my mama and papa. 
with all my aunts and uncles. None of them are the same shade. This is me and my cousins when we were little. And none of us are the same shade. My mama and papa and me and my first cousins and my brother down at the bottom right. None of us are the same shade. I have the same hair. I'm not finna argue with these people. <laughs> I'm done. I'm good over here. Now for me, I, I see her as white. Okay. If I see her, you know, on the road, on the streets or anywhere, I would say, oh, okay. That white woman or, you know what I mean? Because she looks white. You're, I mean, this is my observation. I'm not saying that she is not white. But this is my observation, you know, but people are still disagreeing with her. So because she turned her comment section off, I randomly took some screenshots of comments so you guys can see what other people said about her video. Please pause to read if you want to. Obviously, some people are still disagreeing with her, you know, saying that she is like half black kind of like she said in one of her videos that she never said she is 100 percent black but then she is not white now a lot of arguments in the comment section people saying a lot of things which i mean y'all can see from this comment right here i would love to know what you guys think in the comments i want to read from you like i said again this is you know kind of a history lesson to a lot of people and then i would also suggest that we all go and do our research because i mean so many informations on social media i would not advise that you know um you take their word for it just go and do your research which i'm gonna do but let's just make it a conversation in the comment what you all think you know drop it in the comment guys and thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like this video share comment and of course come back for another video i'm gonna see you all in my next one you'll stay blessed bye